Right, so we're going to focus on the artery. Um, so arteries carry blood away from the heart. The two arteries we're going to focus on are the aorta, which carries blood out of the left side of the heart to the body cells, and the pulmonary artery, which carries blood out of the right side of the heart back to the lungs. So they have two major properties, uh, elasticity and the ability to contract. Uh, they, and the reason why is because they have thick muscular walls and that's to carry blood at high speeds under pressure. So what you can see is here they have that thick muscular wall on this diagram and the under pressure part is the fact that this lumen is quite small so if you force blood through it um, at a fast rate then the smaller the, the lumen the higher the pressure the blood travels at. So when the heart ejects blood into the large arteries the arteries expand to accommodate the blood so that, that wall is able to or this muscle is able to expand to allow more blood to go through it <clears throat> they do not require any valves in these in the arteries and the reason why is that the pressure within them remains so high at all times um, so they don't require the valves to be able to, to stop the blood flow the smooth muscle surrounding the artery enables the diameter, so this smooth muscle here, enables the diameter to be decreased and increased as required. So if you if blood's pumping at a really fast rate, it would increase. If blood's not pumping as fast, then it can decrease to, to reduce this diameter here, which is the lumen. Um, so in terms of their ability to contract, um, the reason or the ability to contract helps them um, maintain and regulate pressure and blood flow and the arteries are largely deep except when they can be felt by a pulse um, and the vessels and what happens is so if you look at your, your hands you would be able to see your veins but with arteries not so much because they're deeper inside the body um, and what happens to arteries is that this is, a, this is a large artery, but it breaks down into what we call a small version, which is arterial. Structured pretty much the same, um, but they are smaller.